Hello, good afternoon or evening or morning to wherever you are, and welcome to Lane Smash on February 7th, 2021. I am Jeb Kenobi, and with me today is Halot. Hello! And Dumbness should be along here in a little bit. Uh, he's got, he's running back from something, but he should be joining the stream in a little while. To... Yeah, I heard it's something like with Brexit and internet, some connection problems, I don't know, English people. British problems. I don't yep. understand them. Uh, but anyway, British problems aside, today we have a Link Smash match. So, uh, we have CBT on one side and OKTZ on the other. And Halo, these are two of the better teams coming out of B-Bracket so far, and I'm really excited to see how this one plays out. These are the two top teams, at least, um, if we're looking at the previous matches so far in the group stage. Um, OKTC has come out uh, victorious too in both of their matches. Their score is currently 9-0. So they've kept uh, nine bases in those two matches. And haven't and... lost one. Exactly. And CBT has only played one match, but they won that 4-0. So both of the teams have not lost a base yet in a lane smash um, in this season. That's going to be interesting to see. Um, this is definitely the... Uh, top match of that bracket so to say if we're looking at the teams uh, right now yeah no this absolutely appears to be two of the better teams Ocats has put in two strong performances versus date and dark who we saw yesterday on the same lane we have today and cbt did very well against too late last weekend winning 4-0 they were off the first week of the tournament so they had a little bit of a late start but they'll be catching up with matches against date and dark in the coming weeks yeah yeah, and for the lane today, we are back again <laughs> to Aiken Bravada. So, Aiken Bravada. Uh, it's all Aiken Bravada, hey, what? Just is. Yeah, I mean, can you can you ever get tired of this lane? We'll have to see. We'll it's have gonna to be see. probably going to be played a, a lot more this season. Um, yeah. With how the band system works. Uh, which... It's already on dark twice for next weekend, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So... But all of that aside, the future is the future, and today is today. So, Okats is starting from Bravata PMC, playing TR. CBT, Cobalt Terrence, yes, they're playing VS, uh, are starting from Aiken Biolab, playing VS. They're going to start, yeah, both sides are going to meet in the middle at Woodman ASE. So, uh, interesting things here is that CBT starting the Aiken side this half has the possibility to get set up on Woodman before OCAS can really do anything about it. They have about a six second window if they fly by Galaxy to just get wherever they need to be. Uh, they can get anywhere on that Woodman base and do whatever they want to do before OKTZ can even begin to intervene. So, that is true, but it is a neutral base and we have seen a lot of the teams this season not wanting to be the first to flip that point and counting down the timer. Um, it's been a bit different on this lane, but mostly teams are kind of wary of going in and just flipping it straight away. Um, they want to get control of one of the uh, bigger areas in the game. Like, they want to have control of the air first. They want to have control of the ground or the armor first. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how uh, both teams are going to going to attack this. Yes, our neutral base here, Woman ASC, has got two vehicle gates and a road to the center that isn't gated, and there are ways to get onto that road without going, without going out of bounds that are worth remembering. You also have, at the central building, you have a powerhouse here. And then, unusual in planet side, but very unique and fun for lane smash, is that the point is on this lower floor of the Crescent building here. Crescent or banana. Call it what you will. It's the same thing. Many, many doors, five many points of entry. Start five minutes. Very hard to defend. User so, vulnerable to the last second steals and the last second pushes for sure. Uh, it's going to be interesting. We have match starting in five minutes, as informed of us by our wonderful head referee for the afternoon, Mr. Relator. And as we speak, I just uh, heard Mr. Dubness come in the door, or whatever you want to call it on the TeamSpeak server. Hey, Dubness. How's it going? Looking forward to. I think it's. I think it's Cobalt Terrence O Cats. At least I think it is. Right. Right. It is. Yeah. It is. Okay. Okay. Whew. Do we need to go back through all the details for you, Dadness? <laughs> what have I missed so far? Have we, have we talked about the lane? 
We've talked about the length. We've talked a little bit about, about the teams, teams, but there's definitely room to go there. We've talked a bit about mm-hmm. who's playing what and who's starting from which side and all of that. And yeah, that's what we've done so far. Yeah, we do have around three minutes, 50 seconds of uh, Dubness time to go crazy. Okay, well, I actually, it's, I don't actually have, at the moment, uh, a fun fact um, to start us off with. But I do have a question for you both. Predictions for this match. Ooh. Speaking of predictions, there was a contest where people were supposed to get the score. Um, <laughs> How is that going for people so far? Yeah, there's been... Um, Two that get gets the uh, correct score for uh, all the matches so far this weekend. Only but, um, wait, two what? people out of really? Wow! So um, not that great. I mean, no, well, that's that's, that's, that's pretty a... good because I I wasn't expecting a three zero for Cat's Turtle. Yeah, but going at that, DPT is uh, the heavy favorite from uh, from the viewers or from the people in the contest at least. Okay. I mean, I think I, if I'm going to make a prediction, I think I have to predict CBT here. Uh, they have lane smash experience. They've been practicing a lot. They've been working very mm. hard, and they're a very well-drilled team. OKTZ, okay, definitely very strong. But I think that the experience and cohesion of CBT is going to win them the day today. I'm going to call it. It's going to be 4-1 to CBT. Okay. 4-1. Okay, interesting. I, I don't think it'll be 4-1. I think it'll be either 3-0 or 4-0 for Cobalt Terrence. Um, I, I don't think Okats has the necessary experience yet to to be able to take them on. Um, but hey, you know, it's a lane where we can see upsets. We have seen upsets. So it's not outside the realm of possibilities that Okats can win this match. They are 9-0 and zero in their two last matches, which they haven't lost a point yet. I mean, we shouldn't count them out, even though exactly, they're Exactly, like they are in good form, even if the opposition they have been facing has been, uh, again, on the weaker has side. Their issues. Yeah, on the weaker side uh, of the B-bracket spectrum, they've got two tough matches coming up with OKTZ, and then too late the week after that, they'll be the two tougher opponents. But at the same time, they've had those matches to help hone their procedures and their experience and knowledge, so... I'm definitely not going to count out OCATs in this. I think CBT is favored. Uh, but we make predictions, but you got to play the matches and know what happens. So, speaking of which, we're now inside the window where we can showcase team openers. So I'm going to look at CBT side first, and then we'll follow OCATs in from Bravata later on. So for CBT, I see about six scythes. Uh, then there's a few more in the... Air pad there and two galaxies loaded up, ready to go. Oh boy! So it looks like CBT is going to try to take advantage of that big gal drop onto point. They I have think some you missed. Prepared. Um, you missed a lot of those mag riders that hiding hiding. Oh, in the are there mag riders? Or right there in the mountain? Mag- oh, riders. hello, hello, Tonk. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yes, I see many, many mag riders lined up here. All right. Looks like they are trying to use the double pull thing to keep them all moving properly. And give them some extra firepower. Let's see. Bravata, 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 passing Monster Command Center. Here we are. Bravata PMC. I see a repair galaxy, two repair galaxies for OKTZ. And I don't see anything else. Apologies for the speed of the obstacle here, guys. I'm trying to get around quickly. I did see Mossies, and I also saw four um, Prowlers. Oh, yeah, there. there's four Prowlers, a Skyguard, and a Sunderer. A basilisk front and ranger rear. I'm looking up at the skybox. We can't go too high on the ops games. They will bug out and force us to relog, which is not a pleasant thing for a caster to have to do. Especially match mid-match. will start in one minute on the next in-game nanite tick. Again, oh, there they are. One minute. On Fifty-five. The next they have found tick. the pool. Yes, there are quite a few okats, uh, mosquitoes. Uh, I see about six or seven climbing into the sky now, getting ready to go. With one minute to go, everybody's so getting ready. Like- it seems like it's going to be a pretty standard opener for both sides. Um, at lots of aircraft, some a few tanks, uh, and one and or two galaxies. Two galaxies and O-Cats. aside, that's a little unusual. They're rep. They're rep. No, they're rep gals. We saw it with um, Turtle uh, yesterday. They had they were running two galaxies. Uh, True. Pretty. It's a pretty. It's pretty standard now for this lane, I think. Yeah, but you see two rep galaxies that are not with their ESS right now. If they're going to support the ESS, I think they would be closer. But maybe I'm wrong. We'll see what happens here in 10, ten seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
Three, two, one. Match start. All right. And Clock we has started. are off. And we're off. Okay, TZ, mosquitoes are activating straight for Woodman to engage the enemy. But the, no, I see something sneaky, very sneaky from a CPT, a uh, mossy that, hide, that was hiding in the hills and coming straight off. Okay, CPT sent a scythe into the bushes to try to get some flanking shots. Exactly. That was some good baiting um, here. CPT sending their galaxy straight on ahead, straight into the OK. He's going to go for the ram. He's going for the ram. He's going for the ram. He's going for the ram. He's chasing oh, the galaxy. I oh, good evasion from OKTZ. I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, he bails and the galaxy goes down. <laughs> Valiant attempt, so but to no avail. That did, does disrupt the whole OKAT's air. CBT is already set up well inside on uh, on Wolfman. They got two Maggies. They got a few Maxes inside of the They point. have a... Uh, yeah, but... Ooh. Okay. So they are missing a hard light barrier right now. Oh, they are? Alright, I'm still watching the air here. Oh, it they've been like... sabotaged. The timer, the timer is doubled. What? They've been sabotaged. Oh my god, real short. <laughs> Quickly, someone do something. It's okay. fixed. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, with the command, it would just um go down to what it would have been with the four minutes, so it's not really sabotaging. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Slight administrative thing there. I'm sure the refs will handle it for the next Just blame, blame, uh, blame just, for. So I just want to point this out. Smalls from Ocats has hacked the infantry terminal in the powerhouse, put up a beacon, and is running around. Um, while, if we have a look inside on the on the CBT setup, they've got highlight barriers in every door, except one of them, uh, which is the northeastern bridge. <laughs> There is so one sure brave CBT pilot starting the flirt with map boundaries here as he's avoiding many, many mosquitoes. CBT looks like to be repulling air, but they're definitely losing the air engagement here. Yeah, I mean, it, it would make sense if they're losing the air engagement, considering how many people they have on point here. Okay. Are they even, I think that must be a Logi Specialist flash as well. So they, they are going for the full turtle uh, on Woodland to start off with here. All right, so it's okay to see this one the air battle. We'll shift back down toward the ground. Oh, hello. I see tank there fire. are three mag riders causing issues. Oh, the vehicle generator is dead and oh, oh, one, one tank, tank immediately gets tank mined. <laughs> oh, one tank goes down tank mines immediately. <laughs> see, he's got three it. mag riders getting ready. To, um, two mag riders and a harasser getting ready to square off against this OCAT's armor. Now the repair bus is in the lead. I don't know why they're doing that. That repair bus should be behind the tank supporting them. Here come the prowlers trying to engage the mag riders. Oh, there are three mag riders. And with uh, that, there is a giveaway started. Uh, type in hashtag blame realtor in the chat and you will um, get a chance to win a thousand paper. Is it please. hashtag or exclamation point? One mag rider does go down here. Hashtag. Yeah, those mag riders are getting torn apart right they're, now. Yeah, they're boxing. They need some support here. It looks like there is a comet max. Yeah, there is a comet max on the balcony trying to help out the mag riders. Ooh, darn leaves. Yeah, that's, that's a nice little play from him. That's that's nice to play. That is One prowler so is cool. low, but he's gonna get repaired because all the tanks are dead. So Oka is actually taking control of the air and the armor mm -hmm. right now. That and is, the rocket um... pods have also started. All right, let's give act actually look inside and see what Dennis was talking about before. Oh, Valrin is gonna see for that tower. Oh, we can see for the prowler. Everyone goes down from Okats because he gets see for by Valrin. Uh, so they've awesome. just lost. They've just lost one of the prowlers. Uh, yeah, I mean, you expect to lose, right, your your ground and your air if you're going to turtle, so... Here comes a Gal drop onto point, I think, from Ocats. Yeah, Gal drop yeah. on point from Ocats, here we go. Another Gal is right behind it with more Maxes. Loads of Maxes here, coming in now. Three Maxes. Uh, where are the supports for the Maxes, though? There's only one Engineer here. Need some reinforcements. More Maxes, more Maxes oh, are dropping that, down. Look at the crossfire, that's going to hurt. Ooh, yeah, the crossfire from both sides of the crescent is going to cause problems. One Ocat's max yeah, goes down at the far end of the bridge. Down straight up. One max is up and out. No, Point is flipping, away. though. Yeah, but we don't have floor. to worry about uh, A couple ran in. As long did... as you control that second floor, you can just jump down onto point. So if, yep. they, could, if they re secure the second floor, Ooh. they have no trouble. Wait, what? Resnick going out on point here. Oh, no, there's a ground pound ESF with wool pods. They just cleaned the entire balcony of Ocat's. Oh my! Very well played right side by CBT pushed keeping in. Very well played. That cool was an amazing there. timing on the ESF run. 
OKTZ has bottom four and they're flipping point. Actually, they don't have bottom four as Maverick's going to drop in here. And you just go ahead and clean it out as OK, uh, CBT is going to rotate down the point. Yeah, that looks like a full rotation almost. It's, it's a half and half. CBT's mm. got... Oh, losing, losing one of their mag riders that was up on the hills there. On there, dropping down. Arrow gets a res. I'm not sure what he's going to be able to accomplish though. Both gets grouped here. up outside um, one of the lower doors now. Ready to push in, but they're just holding up there with, with the medics. Yeah, but they don't have their maxes either, so... Now, without the maxes, they're going to really struggle to get back in here. If they just put everyone in the last second, maybe they can. I think that's what they're going for. Those maxes are going to drop down now. 10 seconds on the point. Two engineer turrets, a cobalt flash set up, ready to go. Multiple maxes. Here we go, here's the push. Here it comes. It's not going to be in time. The push. They're pushing straight into blue shift maxes, though, with no sustain. Not enough time. As CBT is going to take the first base here, but OCAS is pushing hard still, trying to get some forward cap going. They get a big res. Oh, that's a CBT res. Never mind. I am looking for the back cap at Mossridge. Not yet. No, but you do have the vehicle to. It's it's flipping on Mossridge now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, TR but is flipping no point now as the squishies are falling out, but that's not going to be quickly enough. Ooh, Maverick Tex has got a full factory rest, so he'll be okay. <laughs> oh, but the point is neutralized on that must reach. Well, yeah. uh, guys did not flip at a... uh, Woodman, so they have some time. Uh, TVT's got a moment here. Oh, but there we go, they're back on point at uh, the, the Ford cap is there. There was time. a well timed rest night from CBT. They have a beacon up outside. Oh, look at this rotation from OCATS. There's already a whole squad and a max. Coming straight to this point. That is what you want to see. Quick response. Get in and wipe them off before the CPT have a chance to set up. Yeah, but it will force them back. And the OCAT's Air Force is looking. And OCAT's are pushing heavily on the Mothers. They've got the point back. There's 10 seconds to resecure. Immediate. But how much you want to bet we're going to see a Galaxy from CPT? Because they, they've probably picked up those Maxes now. Well, they gotta worry about a back cap at Woodman first. Yeah, I see the galaxy. Yoda's taking off now. Point is still in VS hands at Woodman here. So I'm, I'm at but there's Mossage nobody here, protecting it, it. It doesn't look like Okats are ready for a full gal drop if that does happen. Yeah, uh, the gal drop is happening now. They got a few. One galaxy, two. Sorry, two maxes were. Yeah, two maxes for for CBT. No, three. One of combat. Oh up. no, but that, the rockets destroyed. have arrived. <laughs> the OCAT's oh. air has got air control and they're using it very effectively. That push of CBT goes completely down. Deadly yeah, cookie you, is dead on the roof. You have Sakura's to question why they went for. You have to question why they went for the main like the main hangar doors there rather than one of the side doors at Moss Ridge. Uh, obviously, the side doors easier to get into. Uh, a little bit more cover. I think as there well. There goes the gal goes down <laughs> as well. Point continues to be contested though, so I don't think Okats are feeling too secure. Okats losing a mag rider to a prowler here. You still have two mag riders up on the hill, but they're taking fire as well now. Meanwhile, Okats has got a decent setup here, set up on both balconies, but CBT is still no. trying to cause problems here. Uh, as some goes for one of the maxes on the engineers. They try to see four. Oh, he almost gets Solano. Very lucky escape from that max. Left on a sliver of health. Does running in on the southeast door. Ever is pushing the stairway, but he's max. taking a lot smaller fight. He doesn't have any support. He goes down. The remaining heavies are trying to re push and take a balcony. They're going to do it. CBT takes one of the balconies, but they haven't flipped point yet. Still no back cap yet for Woodman. Uh, so I think OCATs have committed everyone to the Mossridge Hex. So CBT's far. got their Maxis inside of, on that balcony now. Yep, Ederson gets a res. He's going to need some repairs though. They got a Comet Max that's going to cause OCATs some problems. Fjord Red on the other on the other balcony, and along with Asen, they just cleared out the that other balcony for OCATs. But that yep. Max and a res aid for the... Uh, they do have people still there. Oh, but CBT now have a PPA harasser inside the building. 
that could be problematic for Ogaz. A lot of tight choke points there to push through that are going to be ample feeding ground for the splash damage of a light PPA on a harasser. Where'd the harasser go? Oh, he's up on the balcony now. So oh, that's sh disgusting. It's a shame that Ogaz weren't able to get that back cap. I think they're a few seconds off uh, in oh, terms of like where their pilots were. So they were close to getting it done. I see spools here. Oh, they were trying to use uh, flashes to put the back cap. Mm. Yeah, but like, oh, cause he's gonna keep it cool now. They still got plenty of time. There's still around 19 minutes left. They can make a good push, push CPT out, and then go for that woodman. And okay, so there's a period of air control here because there's a few mosquitoes ground pounding with what appears to be relative impunity. Ooh, but that cobalt, the PPA harasser is already starting to do some work here, suppressing a doorway from OCAS. Be careful, Pinhead. That that's going to do a lot of damage to you. PPAs are not a deal with Maxis very effectively. Here comes the push. Here it comes. They're running around. They're trying to get away from the PPA. That's smart. So Asim, Asim just pushes out. Oh, comes two of them in the face. And then hides at the crate before going down to the links. Here comes is... the push. Oh, got the stack. Oh, that's for Baron. Ooh. Axum takes a comet round right to the face and needs repairs. These maxes are not at full health for Ocats. They need to get some work done here. So it's all very well and good having this air control, right? Um, but you have to question that. How much effect are they actually having right now? Yeah, when there's 24 people inside holding that point, you need your own 24 people to push in. Like, yeah, yeah, that is a very disgusting setup. They've got a PPA harasser inside, they've got multiple maxes, engineer turrets, heavies, medics, the whole shebang. They're just stalling here outside. So here's the thing, here's the thing, right? When one of the balconies has a PPA harasser and the other one doesn't, push in underneath the other the balcony which does have Oh, here a comes PPA the push, harasser. they're pushing the PPA here side. Here comes, here comes. Oh no, not not the blast doors, no, not the warehouse doors, no, oh, no, the like PPA the harasser, like the fire, the blue ships, <laughs> oh my god! No cats like gets this. annihilated! Big resonate, but I think the PPA is probably reloaded by now. Yes, it is! <laughs> I guess you could say O oh, cats with that push are just a glutton for CBT right there. Because oh, that man. was painful. That, I think. Uh, it just spiked oh, CBT's KD by at least one. <laughs> mm. Now CBT have one minute, 12 seconds to secure Monsters Command Center, get a second point this half, and move the action down to Pravada PMC, the OCAT's home base. Whoa, whoa that, medic, uh, that medic for Cobalt Terrence just jumped down. Just died for no apparent reason. Like, why not just use the res aid? Because here comes the push again now for the southwest side. Ocats with another infantry push coming in now from the side doors, which is probably what they should have done in the first place. Um, but it's just it's just it's, not it's enough of the maxes. There. Well, not enough maxes, and also the suppressive fire from the balcony is causing them some serious oh, problems. Oh, that, that VS Max accidentally jumped out. <laughs> oh, no. The, get that max. Get that what? max, Ocats. He's going to make it back up in time just See, barely. Ace goes down and gets some more shotguns. Arrow goes up and gets... Does not go, does get your trade out, Yoda. But Yoda's gonna get a res and he's not. Smalls goes up as infiltrator, tries to get one or two. But this doesn't get them point control. They need they need to get a balcony soon so they can get point control. Yeah, but like, and even just one cloak or uncloaking on the point will delay it. And but guess what? That's what there just is a, happened. a sneaky CPT guy over here on Bravada. I see a beacon. They I'm rush into the point, try to buy a few seconds, and they do buy a few seconds, but Ooh. not enough time. So they just send, so they just send Asim with the shotgun ambusher jets onto the point, and he just resecures it while the crossfire cuts everyone down, and that's two zero, couple Terrans. Yep, two zero. There is. Is has cap? two is people over here. They have one shot in over on in the middle, and they have. Tank flipping the point on C. Yeah, there oh. we go. There's the back cap. And because it's a free point, you only need one of the points to back cap. You don't need all three. That's so, correct. Oh, oh CBT is a stealth bus here. here. Quickly to respond. I mean, CBT is going to push the C point here almost immediately as well. 
we're already having a stealth boss in position. That's the pretty nice. But... Terminal, um, Ocats quickly destroyed that now. I see what he's going to be trying to push in. 15 minutes remain in the round. 15 minutes. So with 15 minutes remaining in the round, it is plenty possible uh, that either Ocats can recap Moss Rage or Cobalt Terrans can capture Bravata. Yeah, the uh, points are still very much in play. Multiple bases are actually still in play for either side. Well, not CBT. But Ocas could still capture Mossberg again, even go back Ocats as far as Woodman. does have a beacon up. They have two beacon up. Mm, Why that's good, because their under just got C4'd by Ocas, so they're now flooding into the C-point building. The CBT probably need to rotate over to one of the A or B points. Oh, Edersley drops in with a max. He's going to get one. A lot of damage from Boots. Boots goes down. There's just less than half health, though. He's going to need to get some repairs. Like, Ocats have beacons up over on Moss Ridge, but there's no one dropping on it. No, they're stable. Edersley really gets C4. He's going to have a phylactery res, though. So they're going to have to deal with that, but I think they can do handle that without too much trouble. Yeah, those beacons just went down. No, it's still here. It was just my screen that didn't render. That PP at Harasta from Moss Ridge is now on a hill at Bravada trying to suppress the area around C Point. But they have a couple of oh, now. Here comes the Mossy. Oh, cuts one Mossy drop on Moss Ridge. It brought a new beacon. Mossy dropping here. Oh, but he can't flip. He's flipping Point. Point is now flipping on Moss Ridge. More, more Ocats dropping in. This is a nice counterplay by uh, Oka, by Ocats. This yeah, is just... what you want to see. Yeah, this is. I'm what just you wondering see. where the Cobalt Terran pop is. It just seems really spread out right now. They pulled just... a lot of buses, um, trying to get some armor up around, and Ocats just uh, took advantage of that. They yeah. got a good amount of people inside now, up on those balconies. Time was just They're putting spitfires up around the point, up on the balconies. They're trying to fortify. So we've caught out to go for that full armor push onto Bravata. Get um, they've just enabled themselves to get back capped, uh, and it looks like Ocats will probably just put 24 people in this point. Uh, and the, the armor for... coming back now. Yeah, the armor's starting to come back. All Not right. all of it though. Ocats are slowly getting set up here. We're gonna see. Look, Deadly Cookie's gonna try to peek in. Oh. That looks like a scythe wool pod, yes. Uh, CBT's got some air now, and they're going to try to do some of their own ground pounding. So there's still it's... five people at A point, without a PMC, four Cobalt Terrans. They just not just think they can just hot stay there. I don't think so either. There's more than a minute done on this back end oh, You're going to have to actually deal with this. Yeah, they just redeployed. Okay. Scythes lower than the building are firing rockets in toward the balconies, trying to get some work done. And, with some amount of success, the, the rockets coming in a little high, though, to cause serious damage to Ocats. Oh, and here comes the uh, dreaded weapon from before. Logan bringing up the PP... No, it's a Cobalt Harasso this time. Mm, they had two at Bravada. They might be bringing both of them up for cheese purposes. The other cookie tries to push the balcony by himself, doesn't get anywhere. Uh, but CBT is pushing the west balcony right now, and they are slowly taking it. They've pushed through a lot of the heavies. Yeah. East balcony now falls to CBT, and the yeah, harasser is inside. It caused problems. And the west balcony has fallen. Oh my. So, I'm not. Obviously, I wasn't here for the whole of the map pre-match uh, preview, right? Where we go over the teams. Mm -hmm. um, but if we didn't, if, if we didn't mention that. Cobalt Terrans have strong infantry on paper. Um, I think they've just demonstrated it right there. Uh, yeah, the, I've been very impressed with CBT's infantry play so far. I know them for their coordination and their speed, but the infantry skill is on display has been pretty good. O, uh, Ocas is no slouch on the infantry game. So, so what, what we also need to good. note now, that, though, is that two minutes on the time at Mosfage for Ocats, they can get back here if, if they want to or they can spend the time re-securing Bravata destroying any Sunderers which Cobalt Towns may have left there um, but both are pretty viable for them to do but I hope they go for the back cap again 
If they have 90 seconds here before CBT resecures and can move forward to Bravada again. CBT, by the way, is not leaving this to chance. They still have the better part of their entire team in this point room ready to deal with it. They've also got the Brain of a Sunderer as well. The Alcrease guys has got a bus coming through. They have air control. What is Okes doing? No, Okes is getting ground pounded out their spawn room. Well, that's not pleasant. Uh, oh, there's a CBT harasser inside at Bravada. And I think Okes is trying to fortify here. But they're having issues with a PPA harasser call <laughs> causing havoc. And there's also a Hesh Mag Rider here. Look at Moss Rage. CBT. Yeah, Papa from TR has dropped off entirely from Moss Rage. As CBT has about 30 seconds now to resecure before they can move forward to Bravada PMC. Again. Yeah, Ocats have split themselves up between A and C. Currently, the only weak point is B point, where they've got less a lesser amount of people, um, but still quite a few nearby. And they're killing that st uh, that bus there for a couple of towns by the uh, garage. Ocats right now is holed up entirely in the triple stack here at C point. The air terminal's been destroyed. And there's oh actually I take that back. There are some in the L buildings. So Ocats is looking like they want to just clutch this out and hang on for the next eight minutes of the half and escape only down two points. CBT's got a bus deployed here, and they're pulling Maxis from it. I think I think the defensive play for Ocats here makes a lot of sense rather than going for the attack. Because it's highly unlikely, right, they're, they're going to lose a three-point base, which is you know, six or seven minutes cap time, you know, realistically speaking. With all three um, points, it's five minutes if nothing yeah, happens, but, but that's yeah, not going to be the case. There's no there's no way a team can hold all three points when it's a 50-50 fight, um, like, unless the skill difference is massive, right? So, yeah. by doing this defense, they're able to save enough of their knights um, for the next half opener, where perhaps they can regain the momentum. And then obviously go on to get the first point, and if they get their first point, maybe they can take, uh, you know, Moss Ridge, and then maybe they can get a draw out of this. So it makes a lot of sense to go for a more defensive play uh, now, this late into the first half. I think that makes sense. CBT is trying to take the base, though. They've got a few people on the lower floor, Deadly Cookie and a few others are... Hold up here. They're gonna try. They're gonna peek and head the stairs and run straight into Exum. He takes them down. Yup. Ocats is ready for that. They are set up there nice and tight. The CBT's got a nice hold on the A point L building or L shape, and they're taking the B point one now too. Or if they're trying to, it's really close, but Tank's still alive. He's going to flip the point, but there's no reses here. There are no medics left alive. Just ace them, Deadly Cookie, and Tank. Who are none of them are playing medic right grab now. List now. So one res, does, reses do come out, but it's not in time to keep the max from despawning. So, ooh, a few medics are running Revenant, too. That's interesting. So CBT has timer, but also not enough time without three points to have a hope of capturing the base and getting a third point. Yeah, so at this point, I think we can expect to see a, a reduce, a reduction in the amount of nanites used by both teams. Just like I say, right, because the second half opener, you want to make sure you're ready to go with whatever you're going to need. Um, and that air, that air battle in the opener did seem quite close. Um, so, that might be in the minds of both teams as we head towards half-time here. You agree on that? It's around five minutes left now. Um, not that ma not one max still up for CBT at least. Uh, LC is pure infantry fights. Yeah, so as CBT tries to push Ocats off a of C point, that doesn't work so i think what we have to kind of 
give some credit to, right, is that harasser. Uh, I think it's Dave, who's Co-op Terran's harasser, harasser driver. Um, doing a lot of good work. Literally just about to get another road kill, but the LA managed to fly away. Um, you know, that, that a harasser, it's cheap, and when there's no enemy MBTs around, <laughs> I was going to say it has good survivability, but then it, but then it just got blown up, so... I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Harassers still die to C4 very effectively. Ocas just tried to push the A point with no success. They are now moving people to, re to further secure C point. B point is also going back the way of TR, maybe? No, tank is there to keep it safe. CBT has also now got a Sunderer in the tree trunk, which is allowing them to run up the hill and drop down and get ready to push C point. So I saw, I just saw someone in the chat say, "Oh, you know, Orbital Towns are stomping Ocats?" Question mark. The question, the answer to that question is no, right? No. Because it's been, it has been pretty close. Four if minutes Ocats, remaining, four minutes. If Ocats changed up a, a few things here in terms of their infantry play, um, I think, I think you know, we could have seen a, a, at least a one-one half. Yeah, and they did have that nice uh, change of momentum where CPT would, took a bit too long, pulled a bit too much armor to go up around mm. Bravada, and Oka's just capsulated them and tried to well, go for Mustard. And they actually got the, like two and a half, almost three minutes on the timer before CPT managed to take it back. Yeah, and you know, don't, oh. don't get me wrong. You know, it was good. It was good. <laughs> Dave, I think it's Dave, yes, has got a PPA harasser on the roof of C Point. He's now getting rushed by a lot of OCAS players, but he's got up there. I think he got quite a few kills. And considering the amount of attention he's getting from OCATS now. And he's still not dead. He's, he's still not dead. He's going inside. back inside. The Let's issue is up. he doesn't have a gunner situation. Uh, I think he has a gunner. I haven't seen the turret move. No, he doesn't. No, not no yet. he doesn't. He might have one now, though. Oh, he oh, just no, got C4'd. No, so it forward. doesn't matter if he did. Doesn't matter anymore, but some excellent harasser driving from Dave. So someone in chat is asking who is CBT and who is Okat CBT. Yeah, it's also being answered. Or Cobalt Terrence, mostly um, consisting of Cobalt um, outfits, of course. And then there's a good amount of single people just um, joining them. And Okats, I believe, are from. Emerald? Yeah, yeah they so are. Cats, uh. You've got V Cats, right? Uh, which is an Emerald VS outfit. You've got Two Ref. Which two Ref is... is not on this team, to my knowledge, but uh, Two Ref is on too late, done this. Uh, might be a few oh, Two Ref two... oh, here. Oh, oh, damn. It is. Oh, damn. Yeah, just... You said the wrong outfit, man. Uh, Orax is the other half of the O Cats roster. It's a one of V Cats oh, yeah, of and course. Yeah, Orax. Uh, Bodo Fett. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Bodo I'm Fett, Sarlo, some sense. of those guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just like saying uh, two ref. Oh, I know you like saying two ref. I can go ahead and say it again. But less than two minutes remaining. Uh, we see Okets already going. All right. We're not going to spend any more nanites. Nope. There's less than a minute to Wait, go. Wait, Jeb. Jeb, I just... I, I, I didn't know you were playing for Okats. No, oh, no, a... you saw Jeb. That is... Uh, his live character is Jeb <laughs> of Kerbin on the roster. I... We've had a brief interaction via Discord this week after I mentioned that I had never talked to him on my cast of Ocats vs. Dark last weekend. I would uh, say that as well if I, if I was a, a bot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no relation to the person behind the character. We've only had a brief interaction over Discord. I think Jeff's Memes playing on aside, at the same uh, time. We have usernames that originate from a similar source of Kerbal Space Program, and we apparently both like that game, and there you go. There you have it. Is Jeb a bot? Is Jeb not a bot? I mean, no, he's probably not about. It is two different people. <laughs> as far as we know. As far <laughs> as we know. But I've I've never seen him in the same TeamSpeak channel. Have you? No. Well, we can fix that later. <laughs> All right, thirty seconds to go on the first half here. CBT up two to zero over Ocats after an excellent take of Woodman ASC and Mastery Command Center. Ocats though has fought back very well, made some very solid pushes that just didn't quite work at Woodman and also got a significant back cap going at Mossridge. I guess didn't play out for him. 
So, oh, guys, much closer big... than the score might suggest this first half. Yeah, but I guess the big question is, how did you guys see this? Um... All right, did it end, go of as round, you guys expected? end of round. Please leave the continent. We'll call you back as soon as the lane is flipped. But make yeah, sure I mean, you all I think... leave the continent and actually spawn on another one. I think my prediction for this match was it was either three zero or four zero for Colbert Terrence. Um, I think I said that in the opener. Um, so this to me is no surprise. It's a two or three. Did I say two or three? Well, there you go. I've already hit. I've already hit the low, low requirement of that. So they they are easy, easy clap. Um, I just think you know the the experience of Colbert Terrence along with the infantry. Um, you know they that was obviously quite a well prepared setup for Woodman AC Labs. Uh, I have and... both teams may now return to the continent. The match will resume at 10 minutes past the hour. And the reason why it's important to have a good setup on that Woodman AC Labs is because, you know, we saw it yesterday, right? We saw it yesterday where if you do try to go on that point and you don't have a good setup, you are just going to get destroyed. Um, and uh, I think OCAT's probably watched that Turtle versus um, Cats match yesterday because... Um, the balcony door push, which they did with the Maxes to begin with, um, in that first half opener, it was very, very similar to what Turtle did uh, against Cats. Um, Up to one point. They stopped at the doors. Yes, well, exactly, right? But, you know, the thing is, um, the reason why that push for Turtle worked so well was because Cats didn't have a proper setup. Here, Cobalt Terrans did... And so, it, it just it just didn't work out. And then obviously that that PPA scythe or dual photon pod scythe, I think it was actually swooping in and just clearing the balcony. Absolutely um, clutch timing. Just hammer and anvil, you know. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, for OCATs, they got caught in the middle. Hmm. Well but that's said, why setups goodness. are so important. Yeah, one thing I think shouldn't be understated, though, is that uh, CBT was regarded as having one of the better air wings, and that air wing definitively lost this half to OCATS. OCATS had air control for the majority of the half, and generally speaking, until uh, they were grounded for the need to have more bodies on point, they ruled the sky. Okay, so, yes, you're not wrong, but I think the reason why that is, is because Cobot Terrans... They didn't really need air control, and when they did, they had it, right? Because we saw it at Woodman, they let it go, and then, you know, as I said, right, that scythe came in and just blasted that balcony. And then against uh, Ocats at Mossridge, well, you don't really need to have air control when you can just have 24 people inside, <clears throat> inside the point, right? So, but then, when we transitioned over to Bravata... Uh, obviously, we saw Cobalt Terrans have air control uh, completely. So, although I think you're right that they lost the opener in terms of air, I think that was probably intentional because of how many people they committed to the point at Woodman. Fair. And the question, I think, will also become what happens next half because the lane flips. And now CBT are right now, as I'm watching them get set up at Pravada PMC Compound. Meanwhile, across the lane, over at Aiken Biolab, we have OCATs beginning to pull their vehicles and get organized for their second half opener. So, we'll have to see how all of that plays out here in six minutes' time or so. I mean, what I want to see, I want to see some uh, beautiful TR Mercy Maxes. That's what I want to see. Maybe a few, uh, I'm forgetting their, their name now. What's the, uh... Anti vehicle. Uh, the best one is Pounder. Thank you. For the what pound, they're trying to do. Pounder's Maxis, yeah. That's a few of those, and then some Mercies, and then just do what uh, CBT just did to them. That's what I want to see. Yes, indeed. So, uh, this is the first match of today's schedule. The second match will kick off at 3 uh, 30 Eastern Time. That is, I think. 2030 UTC. That is That'll 2030 be... UTC, yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Pray for Help is going to take on TLDR back on the slane. So, stream will go live shortly before the match. Don't forget to miss the 
don't miss that one. That was the last match of this week. Don't forget to miss it. Not, not a problem. I can miss that one. Not, not, not an issue. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, that uh, match is actually quite important because if TLDR win against... Oh, no, wait. wait. If Pray for Help win and then TLDR beat Cats, then Cats could, theoretically, be at the bottom of the bracket. Theoretically, that is. Um, <laughs> yeah, that I match... Expect... How that match plays out will have a significant impact on the A bracket standings and what teams end up where. For sure. Yeah. Uh, there's currently a little bit of a log jam because only one team is 2-0 and o so far. So, and that is Turtle. And then everybody else is jockeying for position below them. That'll be really and interesting. Similar to the, the CBT OCAS match is going to probably decide who is first or second in the B bracket, so uh, the lower bracket today. So with four minutes to go, uh, Halo. Predictions for this half. Oh, predictions for this half. I think CBT is going to come in really cocky on this one. Um, at least some of them. And I think Ocats is going to... I think Ocats is going to get that point. I want to I I wanna see them get that point. Interesting. I think it's, it's going to be fairly close to... Match will um, resume in four minutes. Equal here. In four at least minutes. for the first five, ten minutes. Then we'll see who, which side has to give and open up. So, I think that's an interesting thing that you mentioned that they might get cocky. Obviously, as, as someone who's worked with CBT in terms of advising them, um, for this is the second season now, actually that I've been advising them because um, I did help out last season. Um, I, I don't think that's the attitude of the team, right? I think, I think there's actually quite a conscious effort in that team to avoid b being cocky. Um, which, in my opinion, is the right play because, you know, why why get cocky when you you like you haven't really you're still a B bracket team if that makes sense, right? And if you get cocky, it lulls you to that full sense of security, as you say, right? So, I don't think they'll do that. I think for this half, I think it will probably end up four zero um, for Co for Cobalt Terrans. Uh, Jeb, what do you think? I Mm. Okay, TZ has the short air flight this time around. We'll have to see if they take advantage of that. If they go full turtle, can CBT break that? I don't know. If OPX has a good setup, that could work. That could get them the first. That could get them a neutral base, and at that point, I think it happened. But honestly, I think that CBT probably is a little more prepared and a little more experienced. So I'm going to go ahead and say that CBT goes up three zero, and that might be the end of it. Three zero, yeah, I think three zero. Uh, you know, it's certainly a a safe a safe bet. I think I was really aggressive on my, on my predictions for the giveaway, and I got burned so hard yesterday. <laughs> so yeah. I am I am backing off a little bit. I'm like, all right, what's gonna let, let's just nah three point bases don't get captured. Okay, good to know. Remember that, Jeb. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was unfortunate, I think, for Dark to not have. Um, the whole 24 people, right? I think they ended up with 18, 19, and that's why we saw that 6 0. Um, uh, they ended up with 20, I think, by second half. But yes, props to Dark for playing under strength and putting up a good fight against 8 so, yesterday. Speaking of, of, of under strength, how's OCAT's opener looking? Is it strong? Is it weak? Ooh, how is it? What do we like? Within the window. It is, um. It is lots of air. Ooh. Many, many mosquitoes. A few harassers. Two galaxies. Two gulls. Hopefully stocked up with those lovely Maxes. And what about Cobalt Terrans? Do they have an air opener? I'm guessing you can tell us. Well, <laughs> they should do, if I remember correctly. But let's go have a look. Let's look. So, so they do have a few mag riders, not many. Uh, I'm a little One bit minute. blind. One yeah, minute. there we go. There's all the sites. They've loaded in for me. Am I bad into that? So we are going to have an air battle here, Jeb. We are going to have an air battle. This will be interesting to see. Oh, CBT has a liberator. Pull oh, in you've reserve. got to follow. I'll, I'll I'll follow in the lib. I'll follow in the lib. There's no there's nobody in the lib right now. I think they just no. There is it. there is. Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll follow that in for you. Follow that lib. Let me know what it does. Because I think he might go for the galaxies, which could be big brain. That could be, but again, like the liberator can't get there in time to 
stop the galaxies from dropping on the point. Yeah, but those are double rep gals, and there were so many mozzies that I think perhaps it's going to be a huge air battle. But then yeah. again, Haylock could tell us if uh, if anything else happens, right, Haylock? Ten. Uh, maybe, nine, but I am also eight, starting to time with Seven, you. six, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one, round start. All right, here we go. Second half begins. Copper Tevin's in the lead. CBT Two's flying immediately low hard. Low start the... from that, those galaxies. Very slow start. So they're probably not dropping then. Oh my, that's a lot of mosquitoes going straight in. Lots of coyotes flying. the Liberator flying. is just holding back. He does have a gunner though. Those galaxies are just holding back here. Are you trying to try a the ESS or is that a Shredder? I think it's a Shredder. I don't that's think a it's a Shredder. Dozen. Oh! I mean, the Liberator can't go for the mosquitoes, can't doing? go for the galaxies yet because the mosquitoes are in the way. So, CBT is. Oh, there we go, he's just lit up one of the galaxies, yeah. Yeah, they're just trying to use the whatever that is, Tank Buster, the default cannon from a distance. Yeah, CBT Ooh, is using the rep galaxies CBT to get has some repair. CBT hacked the vehicle terminal. At Woodman? At Woodman. They're not pulling one bus. There's one harass, two harasses on it straight away. Mm, yeah, I can see a it from here. Small I'm C moving in. straight over, and he's now Bus rehacking the terminal to uh, to all cats. Meanwhile, up in the sky, the battle is still pretty even. What is that Liberator going to do? This is a little unusual. Is it going to go for the galaxies? Now maybe? the Mech Riders are shooting at those galaxies. Mm, that's going to cause the galaxies a lot of problems. Mech Riders will take down galaxies pretty quickly, given the chance. Yeah, the, the galaxies have already picked up off the Mesa where they were landed. They're pulling back. One harasser on the... Two harassers on one of the Maggies. Oh, one already got destroyed. Point still not flipped here. Well, I mean... The Ernest is on... Um... Ocats to flip the point, right? Because... Well, Colwatt's Heavens, they don't need an extra point to win the game. But... No. Ocats need three, so... Cobalt Terra's uh, air is they also can slowly go winning the, the day here. Uh, the TR I mean, air is mostly falling. I think I see one last mosquito. That has cleared the Liberator to start moving toward the galaxies. And yeah, the Strider is going to work. Trying to take down yeah. the galaxies. Yeah, they're just lighting up those galaxies now. After winning the air battle. And those galaxies are going to get taken down. There we have it. Now point out. is flipping. There's yeah, all cats. Yeah, flipping one, point. two all cats people here. I don't know how cats is going to get people here now too, because CBT has near total air control. They pushed all cats almost as far back to the bio lab, and their last galaxy is taking a lot of damage. Oh, he's trying to pick up Maxes. Oh, those Maxes, they're not going to get picked up because that gal's going down. It does there's go down. No the Maxes are now cats. stuck here. One, two, Pounder and two Mercy Maxes all stuck. I guess they're going to switch those up for Burster Arms now to try to help clear the air. I mean, you could just spam Galaxies. <laughs> Can they kill you all? Probably not. Is it a good use of Nanites? Probably not. Are they going to do an upgraded um, Clown Bus? <laughs> Instead of Heavies, just Maxes? <laughs> so how's the point looking, Halo? That's a good question. I am back here now. There's a few guys, one, two guys inside on the on the point from Ocats, but it's just being howled upon by uh, PPA sites. Ocats pulled a galaxy. They have a bunch of maxes that are trying to get in the galaxy, but it's already on fire and it's going to go down. Yeah, boom. There goes 450 nanites. Ocats is not going to get back right away. Meanwhile, the bio is getting ground pounded by ESS <laughs> as yeah, OKDZ I, I is think... trying to regain some air control here, but they're pulling one or two at a time, not I mean, quickly enough. They're going to try and go for the beacon. They put up two beacons. A few people are dropping in now. ESFs are straight on the, on the beacon. On where them. is the timer at? Oh. As Liberator bags another galaxy kill, where is the timer at Woodman? Well, the, the max is just committed minutes. suicide. 
The max is that you can buy a lab, but Ocat's just committed suicide, so they've given up on that investment. Yeah, and, and so even and, more nanites gone. And what's happened now is the CPT has hacked the uh, infantry terminal on Woodman. So they can't even come over here and pull maxes now. Oh, that is a Ocat lot of. has got a beacon up, though. They're trying to spawn in more forces. But, I mean, PPAs and low pods gonna make that a little difficult but once you get inside it's a lot easier so a lot of okets here on top floor but they're getting splashed so is it, they're doing the right thing which is being on the top floor right mm -hmm. and they've got one barrier up which is nice to see and they've even got a spitfire so okay nice they, sorry they got three of them one of them just got blown oh, up damn that's uh that's dangerous but i think co-op terrans they should, they should know how to break. They are the getting ready for the push here. They're taking one of the graph lifts. Oh, that's a lot of maxes coming here. Where's the push Pushing coming in? on the uh, southern side of uh, of the base now. That, that recon for TR is gonna let them know where they are exactly. Okay, it's a point here of a minute to go, but they're gonna have to hang on for the inevitable push. I think they might just wait. I think they might just wait here. I and just wait for might. the timer, which, you know, isn't necessarily the worst thing, because they do have the the scythes watching the balcony. Oh, there's the push. Here's the push going to Point is flipping to VS. Okats is dropping down. C4 going off. Spandex goes down. Resonates for both that sides come finished. out. No, that is a wipe. That does appear to be a TR wipe, and CBT looks like they're going to take second half opener of Woodman ASC. So, although Ocatch did the right thing, which would be being on the top half of the Crescent building, um, or Banana, depending on your terminology, um, although they did the right thing there, they didn't have any maxes, and that was the, the game changer there for Culpit Terrans. But Ocats are still dropping in on the beacon. They not They haven't given up just yet. They still have 10 seconds. Where are... Now it's time, point is flipping. No, but here comes the Maxis down again. Nope. X-Men... Oh, tries to dust the Ederson in the face. He does so, but he dies from splash damage. And Ederson loses half of his health. Point back in VS hands of 7 seconds to go. I don't think there was a way back for Okat to get this base, which is going to put them very much on the back foot. As far as trying to come back in this game, not impossible. Never go There's... three zero for Cobalt Terrans. Three zero for Cobalt Terrans. Is there a back cap at Aiken South? There's not yet. This one guy here, tank, he's put up a beacon. But again, we see Ocats really, really fast on the uh, redeploy back to the base. Yeah, Ocats have also got some air, some air back up. They got three mozzies, but I the amount of nanites. Now. The amount of nanites they lost at that bio lab because of that liberator play, just killing all the galaxies. They lost, in terms of galaxies, they lost over a thousand nanites. In terms of maxes, they lost over a thousand nanites. So, really, it's no surprise that, you know, they're just going to have a defensive posture for now. I wouldn't now. say it's because of the liberator play. It's more, that it was just the wrong time to pull the maxes and think you can get them up when you're pushed all the way back. Yeah, for sure, but the reason why they were pushed all the way back was because of of that lib, right? So they couldn't get the galaxies forward because of the Liberator. Okay, oh, did do the smart thing. They destroyed the vehicle terminal here on uh, on Aiken South, and so CBT can't pull any... any and they swamp. destroyed and they destroyed the infantry terminal as well, which is a nice, nice little move, so props to them for doing that. So far, CBT looks like they're focusing on getting roof control of Aiken South here. These four L buildings are ranged in a square. Uh, the point, of course, is very exposed. You really need to have some building control to have any hope of keeping the point. So they haven't bothered yet going to point. Oh, but hang on a second. On the main map, I guess you get a flash. Uh, Logan. <laughs> Logan has got a map. Oh, my. <laughs> Wee. Oh, no. <laughs> Logan goes yeeting off the cliff into a tree. Him and Tank and a Max both going down. That's a nice little 
loss of nanites for to help compensate Ocats for their trouble. I don't think that's going to cause them any significant turnaround right away. CBT also drives a Sunder in through the vehicle shield, but it gets uh, rocketed down by heavy assaults immediately. And the last the driver is still alive, could do something. Meanwhile, there is some A to G happening, and there are more CBT harassers up on the ridge, but they need to get a, figure out a different way to get down to the point. That wasn't even A to G, I guess that was the PPA so harasser. So, there's a bad. big push now coming in on that southern, uh, on that southern labs to southwest L shape. Yeah, I we'll see call it. it Terrans. Three maxes, loads of infantry, they're just running in. They're running in, but they're getting C4 and they're running straight into pounders. Just cause them all. Yeah, CB. Looks like Ocas is going to. Ooh, maybe hold that. Looks like it's a big phylactery safeguard res. He's going to get one max. Can he get anything else? Did he just get two maxes with that phylactery? He got one and a heavy, but everything's getting resed. Okay. Still, it shows, shows how worth, right, using phylactery is on a max. It's an amazing implant for maxes because you don't have to worry about. For medics, as someone who plays a lot of medic. Uh, you don't have to worry about the long rest timer if the max has got a phylactery. It's great. I mean, you can do if other get, things if you're not actually as get vulnerable. The yeah, the thing is, if it has to proc. To I mean, you have to get the 50 experience sticks. So that is. So they've still got that liberator up. Cobalt Heaven. So you still have that liberator up. Just flying around. Oh, here come the, here come the mag riders down the mountain. Very carefully. Uh, mag riders facing off against two rocket rifle LAs. And. Oh! One gets gunned down. Mag Rider on fire. Yeah, it's going to eat a rocket and go down. But now more A to G. Another effective A to G weapon in that PPA on the hill. Oh, but what Valorant, uh, Valorant gets c 4 by Arrow, and now Arrow is moving to get the Harasser with Rocket Rifle. The Harasser's got to have to move. That was a solo car. It's now running for the hills, quite literally, trying to get away from the Light Assault. Still no back cap here at Woodman, so plenty of time for Colt Terrans to I've been watching make their Woodman way. for the past five, six minutes, and just, there was a little bit of TR pop, which is gone now. Um, I just don't think they have the nanites to really commit to a back cap at this point. I think they must be approaching get nanite drained. I mean, they're probably, what, two or three minutes from getting their nanites back? To a point where they can really push again? That was a yeah. lot of nanites gone on that opener. Many, many nanites, and they also lost a few in the first half. So the nanite situation could be pretty bad for Ocats right now. For those of you that don't know, I guess I should explain the concept of nanites. Uh, if you haven't played much more than if you're just stumbling in here. Nanites are a resource that players get in the game to use for all sorts of consumable items such as grenades, C4, vehicles, and the armored max suits. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop you, because Small C is on the point on Woodman. They have a beacon up over here, Ocats. It is now Flip Woodman, it's Flip for Ocats now. Oh boy, we have the back cap going. So yes, nanites can be Where used my to drops? get things that help you kill things, basically. I thought Halot said, where's his drugs for a second? I was like, Halot, we're alive. Yeah, that's well, no. Um, <laughs> I need my medkits. Now here, here comes the drops from uh, Ocats. Smalls with an underbarrel grenade launcher or shotgun of some kind. They get the few CBT that have killed so far. Uh, Pinhead and Smalls are going to get rezzed. Build the CBT beacon. Interesting. There are two. Uh, there are still two CBT hardlight barriers in the balcony doors, and one from Ocats. And interesting little bit of artwork there. <laughs> interesting. They haven't gone for the infantry terminal yet. Every terminal that has that is now VS and perfectly intact. Yeah, I mean. I, I think it's a risk going for it in case you get caught out by the air to ground. Yes, because that is air control that CBT has currently. And CBT is also responding in kind of. Here comes the push. Everybody getting ready to push across the bridges, running for point. Oh! Fior, Fiorred. Fiorred, I don't know. He just dropped two bodies of, of Ocats down, down in the uh, point at Woodman, uh, making. One of the Ocats medics use a Resnade. 
Yeah, Oketsu now have to rotate the bottom four to deal with the push. Point is flipping again toward VS. As here comes the push on the far side here. So CBT trying to make their way inside. So far, not successful. They even try to run into the Cuddy region, nasty. but Solano and Wiz are waiting for them. Did you know? Did you notice how Okats were just sitting on the stairs, and that Conk just like got basically their time? No, I'm on the lower floor right now. I'm watching the Cubby action here. CBT gets a big res. Can they take it out? No, they're not gonna. Valkyrie Sky is just trying to knife. D dude, d dude, d no. die! Another how big res for CBT. This is a lot of nanites on these grenades. 50 nanites every grenade. You only get 50 nanites a minute. This is a minute's worth of resources. Uh, Solana getting cleaned up. Point is back in CBT hands. Upstairs is also back in CBT hands for the most part. Yeah, there it goes. So the question is now, can OCATs counter push this in time in about the minute they have to get, keep the timer going? Or are they going to use that time to try to retake and fortify Aiken South? The answer is they're trying to push, but they don't have enough people here to really make it a challenge. So, if Cobot... So, here's a little stat for you. If Cobot Terrans manage to clean sheet on this game, they will be the only team in B bracket which will not have conceded a point thus far in the season. And, in fact, that goes for the entire tournament. That does go for the entire tournament. In terms of the other bracket as well. However, I want to point out... That Ocats did not concede a point for their first two matches, and this is only CBT's second match. It's very true. It's very, very true. true. Uh, because of course, uh, Ocats they they had before before today's match they had a nine point difference because they went nine zero in their in total in terms of score. We talked about them not having nanites. I see a lot of mossies now. Yeah, the, I see the nanites... quite a lot of maxes back on Aiken Zuffin for defense. Okay, though. so they, their nanites have recovered to the point now where they can begin the fight in the skies again as one poor Scythe is running for his life. CBT's trying to pull air directly from Bravada, but they're getting pushed back. As the air of Ocas is getting called back, I think probably the ground bound or to deal with a back cap. No back cap yet. A few people have dropped in. We see Logan, Logan has dropped in. Adursa, team captain. They have a beacon up, but that's gonna get destroyed now. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, see, Ocats took their time to fortify Aiken South, and they did it well. They've got more maxes now. They had some people on the roofs ready to go. They've got people spread out throughout the buildings. Trying to keep a chokehold on the space. So the issue is, like, I don't feel like the support classes are very well distributed because you have two heavies in one building with no medic with them to, get, to res them when, if and when they die. So I think there's about 12 minutes left or so um, of the match as a whole. Which means... Unless Ocats get a very hasty back cap, I think that's it. That's but, it for, yeah, draws out of play now, but the question is by what margin? Exactly right. Like, at this point, you're just playing not to lose any more points uh, because point difference may, may matter in terms of the second or third seed later on. It might. If, for example, Ocats and Too Late draw next if, week. Are, are point flipping? Uh, no. Point is not flipping. And I just saw another small seed dropped up over here on Woodman. Doing the same thing he did last time. Point is flipping. He put up a beacon. Okan's going to try and do the same CBT thing again now. CBT is trying to flip the point at Aiken South right now. The one shot is on the ground. They're back capped. They're back capped. They're back capped. It's flipping over here. Mm. Too slow, CBT. Well timed. Again, for well timed by Okats. Well done. Okay, so now, here. And, okay, and the immediate point. rotation, all of the drop pods, the full, the old school steel rain coming in on that cross ability that already tried to fortify it. Very well done by Okats. Very quick transition to the forward cap. But will they be able to get any maxes to, to actually be able to point hold it? That's the question. That's the question. 
Because and because their setup has been lacking. The access. Terminal has still not been hacked. No, they the do terminal have the is time still now. alive, not hacked, not destroyed either. CBT should probably blow More it when they get a chance. Dropping. Just to prevent the possibility of OCATs pulling maxes and making this a very tough. Yeah, comes to first indeed. sight. Deadly Cookie is actually trying to oh, land. He, he blows it up and oh, he's go down. Deadly Cookie was only deadly to himself in that one instance. <laughs> I feel bad for him because we caught him, I think, in the last Cobalt Terrence game, go try to get Ooh, like a, a nice Desi on the there. with a knife kill, Other and one. he just failed. So <laughs> that's really unfortunate for him. I feel really bad. Anyway, Ooh, the has already started. Point holding at Woodman. <laughs> okay, now that, getting but more and too. more hard light barriers on the doors. Yeah, but just putting a hard light barrier in a door, right? It doesn't. That doesn't make it a setup. No, nope, right? taking care of their no. of uh, TR beacons. What makes it a setup is how you utilize the change in in the angles and the change in flow when you put the barriers in the door. And if they don't understand that, then uh, it might fall apart here. Two minutes ten now left on the clock for Cobalt Terrence. Now, I have Mexico. faith. I think this is where Ocas actually. Um... Ooh. Okay. They'll no. get this point. You think? It's yeah, I think they might. Possible. They have, I think, basically 24 people inside this building. There's, like, they got all their people over here. CPT is not pushing, like, fully from everyone. They're yeah. a bit spread out. And yeah, we've they, been talking they, about the fatigue for OCATs before, but that could easily happen for CBT now. They pulled a lot of maxes. They pulled a lot of air. If they're low on the for maxes, that's going to call They're going to have a hard time breaking this. Yeah, co turns need to start pushing in very soon here. Otherwise... A clean sheet I was talking about. It's gonna be gone. Shadow goes down. He gets rezzed by Cobra. Oh, go here comes Asim with the shotgun. He gets one. He gets two. And that's all he wrote on that one. He, the rezzes are already coming through for Ocats. Very well handled. Bend, but do not break. Where are the maxes for CBT? This is very unlike them. They're very spread out. And they're, they're out popped. That's what I'm saying. Well, are they not, have they really just not given no cats the respect? Logan is now inside some C4. He's gonna oh he's throwing out yeah they're gonna C4. It doesn't really cause any problem, but he gets out okay. Ooh, nasty nasty. Oh Gal drop. Takes out two medics. Oh Gal drop. Yes, I see the Gal drop. Where are they coming in? They are where the max is. Less than a minute and to go for okay. So we are off point. the off the barriers if they're just pushing in over the uh oh yeah here they come here comes the max Ooh, yeah the maxes are in the maxes are cleaning oh, out no, oh cats oh cats fell for the trap in the cubby downstairs you don't want to overcommit there and that's a wipe do, and that's a do they have any here. beacons they might i haven't checked uh i can't find any three minutes though before cb can get back on the offensive at aiken south so that bleeds out the clock quite a bit they got around four seconds or something to flip that point on Aiken, and then they will just have enough time to actually get that cap. Yeah. No, that basically put everything but this OCATS cap of Woodman more or less out of play. OCATS has plenty of time to try to redrop, to resecure, to get some maxes up and gal drop them. As CPT's going to have to stay here and make sure this cap goes resecure goes through. Yeah, I think at this point, maybe for a couple of times, you just sit here, it's like, we're just going to relax. Make sure we just close out the match cleanly. But I say that. Ocats, I think, are going for air control again. That? Well, the CBT even got air control? Well, actually, they do. They were, well, the ground pounding they were doing, they did have air control. Yeah, they did before they just put everyone on point and stopped themselves from losing Woodman. I've, there was a Sky Guard, but he's ran away. Do we have a TR have gal it? coming here? Yeah, I'm following that gal in now. And I think that's going to be a squad. Yeah, no yeah they're going back. Gonna... They're going to redrop this. Oh my god, so many rocket pods on the air terminal. Dave has to evacuate before it goes burning and gets destroyed. That's a lot of ground pounders. Okay, here the, comes gal the galaxy. On the, on, the, on the banana, here we go. This is it. Yes, Lots of maxes. maxes. So many people for Ocats here. This is a good drop. This is a good push, too. They gotta get repairs on the maxes, though. 
Otherwise, the Maxis are going to go down, and they have gone down already. And they are pushing. No, but they also pushed in from the balcony. Yeah, oh. but Pocats is just absorbing the damage, absorbing the pressure. All of the Maxis are dead now. Damn. Five Maxis dead on the top floor. That's a lot of nanites. And what we saw there, the reason why Cobot Terrans just annihilated that drop, right? Just totally wiped it, was the setup. Because you had the crossfire on both the uh, bridge doors. You had the crossfire on the inside for the balcony. And it it was, that was... But also, Ooh. those Maxis didn't have repair nades. They didn't have Punisher repair nades. They didn't have the sustain they really needed to fight in that building and against that kind of firepower. Now, Okat's out here. He's still trying to cause some trouble. They've got C4. They're quaking from the doorways. But I don't think this is going to be enough to resecure it. Well, point is flipping. Yeah, and then Valkyrie Sky is going to come down if Adder Sun. They're going to make sure that doesn't happen. There we go. One minute left here on the clock at Woodman. I don't think Okats, unfortunately for them, will be able to get it back. Um, but, you know, I love to see a, a good setup. I really do. Oh, one shot just... Oh, that's not nice. Knifing people isn't a nice thing to do. Stop it. <laughs> Knifing is part of the game, my friends. Unfor like it or hate it. Oh, One shot no, gets just, bolts pinned. And then head. he just bolted a heavy. He just bolted a heavy as well. He likes this. Makes you he likes this this is making you very angry, Donna. So you need to talk about yeah, this. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't like to see it. I hate. In fact, I would go as far to say I hate to see that. Mm. But what Ocats I would is love dropping to see in now. Is Ooh, okay, here's an extra another push from Ocats. Daytime from the referees from would be nice. Rifle. So giving VS that uh. Unfair advantage. I right some goes down to Jeb. <laughs> Jeb's gonna run into Edris's comets and go down. Good try for Mocat. Like really good try. Like they've definitely allowed themselves to stay in this game. Indeed. And also they have made sure that they didn't lose by such a huge point differential that they are still in very good position as far as tiebreakers are concerned. They only exactly have to go to right. the plus six instead of plus nine. That's perfectly adequate for the matches they had. For sure. And there was a small back cap here uh, for Cohort Terrans, but the tankers aren't really having as much as, of an effect, I think. But they have lost it, and Ocats have resecured. You can set off. And now that we... points are now out of play. Yeah. The team are probably just going to have a little bit of fun here, screaming it out, doing whatever they want to do, as night falls over Woodman ASE. The halo. Yes. Pretty quiet there. You just. I am. I am just completely exhausted for cheering for Ocats. Like that was um. <laughs> no, I I really like the spirit of it. Um, the guy on that back cat, they really tried. I actually thought they like a few tweaks and they would have had it. Like a little bit oh, of yeah, luck. Oh yeah, yeah. It's I mean, just they, the they are a brand new team and they are playing very well for a, a brand new team to lane smash. It's that the setup is... and it's the lack of maxes which really done them in, I think, on that on that point and hold. And the lack of repair engineers to keep the maxes alive has been was a big problem for them, especially on the women ASC holds. They didn't have enough engineers. Didn't have enough repairs. <laughs> CBD's trying to drive a, a Skyguard and they can stop the fight infantry. CBD is also trying to max crash one of the buildings here. Yeah, Okats' defense of Aiken South has been pretty good so so far. And with it out of play now, you know. I think Okats, despite losing, won't be too upset because it, they have played quite well, I think. I mean, Especially I think we can all agree losing 3 0 is not a, like. That's mm. acceptable. Oh, I mean, it sure, could yeah. easily have been 3 1 here, too. Like, that hold was very close. If a little bit, a few things a little better, the retake could have worked. Like, this, I feel like 3 0 is almost a discredit to Ocats. The both teams played very well, and the matches were pretty close. 
I do agree, and it's also, we, we saw it on the first round as well, like, all cats seeing that small time of opportunity and then dropping in and getting on the point, like, that is lane smash one-on-one -on -one material right there. They understand that, so it's just experience. Experience and time, and all will come. Ten seconds left Good. in the match. Well played to both sides. CBT three, Ocats zero. All right, that's the match. Congratulations to CBT, winning with four points to Ocats zero. Uh, good, well played match for both teams. Sorry, three points. Correction. Um, again, congratulations to both teams. Team reps, please hop into interview for post-match interview. Thank you. So there we are. Before we hop into the interviews, Jeb Halo, thoughts on that game? Hmm. Um, Ocat's definitely surprisingly with, with a bit stronger than I would have expected. And CBT not being able to break to break that on Aiken is uh, a little bit surprising to me as well. Yeah, I think, but to be honest, I think for Aiken, you know, props to Ocats, right, for, for their infantry play there. I think that was the deciding factor for that one, right? So, uh, Jeb, what are your thoughts regarding the match now? I think that CBT did very well. I think Ocats played well. Most teams are pretty evenly matched, I think, in the vehicle domains, I feel, but CBT had better infantry and they had better coordinated infantry. Uh, they did a better job supporting their high damage units, like their maxes and their heavies, than Ocas did, and it really showed. And yeah, they also so, had some really, really strong setups on that Woodman ASE Crescent building that just Ocas just could not break. So before we move on to um, the interviews, hey, look, do we have any stats? Plenty of stats, but I'm gonna pull them in now because we have a match coming up very soon. Oh, that's a good point. I guess I guess Jeb has User to play in that, doesn't he? So. I'm he good does. for now. I'm good for now. <laughs> Hello, interviewers. Hello. Hiya. Oh, is Bodo Fett not here? Oh, disappointing. No, sorry. Uh, Bodo's our, our flex guy. Boots is actually our armor commander, so, so he's stepping up to get a little mic time today. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so first of all, uh, well done to both teams, because although it was a 3-0, I think Okachi okay, can be pretty happy. Uh, with your infantry performance uh, at the very least, right? Um, especially that defense of Aiken South. So, um, first question from uh, from me, uh, at least, goes towards Ocats. Um, just your general thoughts on that match. Well, I'll tell you what. We had a lot of little things that we put in, like, our pre-match slides and that we had drilled into the guys that when it came time for, for game day, we had some oopsies on like making sure the V-terms were destroyed on the bases behind us and, and CBT managed to get the V-term at Moss Ridge hacked and actually used it to pull stuff against us. And our like our coordination for our final drop on Woodman was a little off. Our, our beacons or having our beacons in place was a little rough. So really this match against CBT was a huge eye opener. We learned a lot of things. I think the, uh, our game four match is, is going to be even that, that much scarier after this match against CBT. And we really appreciate uh, the opportunity to play against you guys. Fair enough. Fair enough. So um, just to clarify that, uh, your next match, that's against too late, right? Yes, yeah, sir. That's going to be the Emerald Showdown. Oh, so uh, and that uh, for, for the viewers at home, that is going to be February 13th uh, on this channel at... 2030 UTC. Um, Adersa from Colt Terrence. Um, your general thoughts on the match. Happy with your team's performance? Room to improve? Uh, I think the openers went exactly how we wanted them to, so I'm happy with the openers. But um, And the Mossridge transition went well, but the Aiken South, we uh, felt like we were running ahead against a brick wall um, just because uh, I was just talking in the uh, pre-interview um, Ocats had brilliant use of their max rotation. Um, so every time we were nearly in, 
uh, it would take us a lot longer than we expected or planned. And by the time we finally got in, they'd already gone for the back cap. So it's like, oh, had to move back, resecure the back cap. And then it would take two minutes to get the maxes over because Air wasn't able to get their gallop or something. So um, a, a lot of mistakes were made um, for the Aiken South side. So that's definitely room to improve. Uh, but overall, I'm happy with how the guys performed. Fair enough. So, I mean, when, when it comes to OCATS, your infantry play, as I said, was one of the highlights for you guys. Um, but your coordination as well, because it seems like you were able to rotate really quickly. Um, however, there was an issue in your second half opener with the Galaxies. Um, what was the issue there? Was it because of the lib uh, from Colonel Terrans? Yeah, it was the lib caught us with our pants down 100%. Okay, yeah, so we thought perhaps that was the case because we did see three maxes or so uh, just waiting to transition over to Woodward. Um, and so, uh, Adersa, you don't normally see Liberators in Lane Smash. Uh, will we see them more in the future? Oh, I couldn't possibly comment. There you go. <laughs> Jeb, Gaylord, any questions from you guys? No, no I just want to say good game and god damn it, Okaz, you make me lose my breath. I was just cheering for you guys on that Woodman Cup. That was, hey, uh, Thanks, that was amazing. Quick, so I, <laughs> I do actually have an apology to make to, uh, to, to Okaz here because I accidentally said two ref was on your team. Uh, so there you go. My my Orax guys will be searching for you on live. Keep your head down. That's okay. <laughs> I play I, I play inside, so I don't need to write about Edgeground. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the C uh, O Cats versus Too Late will occur on February thirteenth at eight PM Eastern time for the Emerald viewers and the Connery viewers. Uh, that is one AM on the fourteenth, the next day, for those of you looking in a more UTC direction and those of you in Europe. So now that will be streamed on PSV Twitch. The streamer, I think, might be me. We're gonna see. Uh, so something might be getting shuffled around a little bit, but all in all, well played to both teams. There is a second match coming here very soon that I actually have to go get ready to play in. So thank you all. Well played. GG to all. And thank you. We'll see you planet side. Oh, God, GG. Yes. Gosh darn it.